I am calm and at peace throughout the planning process. I am calm and at peace <laughs> throughout the planning process. Repeat it after me. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Guest Book Podcast. I hope that you are well. It is June, which means wedding season is kicking off. So you're either going to a load of weddings or it's your wedding approaching. Just a few tips. Get organised, make sure everything is where it needs to be. Look after you, get some TLC. And you know what? Don't stress. Have fun. Have fun. It's the aim of the game. Now, you might have noticed we had a bit of a, a switcheroo. We had a little bit of um, a move around. We're still in the same position. I've just moved my desk. Um, and I just thought, you know what, let's let's have a little bit of a change. And it's going to take some getting used to. I might take some of my stuff out, may put some lights in. I don't know. You let me know. Does it look good? Could there be some improvement? I don't know. You let me know. So last week, we had a bit of a break because it was half term. Gabriella was off. And I've literally just realised... If any mums are out there and you live in the Staffordshire area, that we've got like six, seven weeks and then it's the six weeks holiday. I'm freaking out a bit because I've got lots to do. I've got a big launch coming in the autumn and I've got stuff to do. So I'm going to be dead, dead busy these next six to seven weeks. Um, but please, please, please let me know how you're getting on with your bridal self-love journey. If there's any other episodes that you'd like me to cover in relation to weddings or self-care or self-love. But today we are jumping straight in to week 10 of the bridal self-love journey, which is all about affirmations. Actually, it's week nine. I've just checked. <laughs> so it's week nine of the bridal self-love journey. And we are looking at affirmations and they are so, so powerful. It's not just words that you're going to say. Everything that we're doing on this self-love journey has an impact and it has a ripple effect. So affirmations are no different. It's just another tool that you can use to help manage your stress, to help connect with yourself and also see the world and experience the world in a more lighter, brighter way. So let's have a look at why and how we can use affirmations on this bridal self-love journey. Affirmations are super, super powerful. Whether you want to help yourself on your wedding planning journey or whether you want to boost your mindset and well-being, affirmations are kind of like a pivotal thing that you can do every single day. And they're so, so simple. So you're probably thinking, what is an affirmation? Or you may have heard of the, the term, you know, used a lot, but you're not quite sure how you can use it right now on your wedding planning journey or in your own life. So an affirmation is a positive statement that we repeat to ourselves and they are designed to challenge our negative thoughts and belief patterns. So the, like anything that we do, the more consistent that we are with this, the better that we feel and the bigger impact that we have. And it is a simple and quite found and powerful tool that we can do to rewire our subconscious brain. And we talked about this before in how our kind of mindset and our beliefs are kind of set and how we can rewire that. And we can use that in our wedding plans or in our wedding journey to feel better about things, feel better about ourselves, feel better about the experience that we're having. And it's such a simple thing. You can either speak them out loud, which is really, really powerful, or you can journal, or you can do both. Now, it can boost your confidence. It can help with your own kind of mindset and your belief system, as I've said. It can help reduce stress and help you kind of accomplish your goals. Sounds like too good to be true but these things work now how to use affirmations I've got five really simple steps for you I'm not going to go into loads of loads of detail because you know you know how to do these things so first thing is choose an affirmation affirmations can be I am statements I am successful I am wealthy I am 
a be- beautiful bride, whatever it is, you can uh, have a long statement, you can have a short statement. I am statements are powerful because you were affirm- affirming that to yourself. You then want to repeat those statements daily. So you could have a few different statements and repeat those daily or write them in your journal daily or think about them daily, whatever it may be. Maybe you've got an alarm on your phone that states these affirmations and just reminds you so you can read them. OK, the most powerful thing you can do is say them out loud if you are new to this you may want to like just say it internally or just write them as I said the third most important part is to visualize so if it is in relation to your wedding you can visualize that affirmation becoming true so I am a calm collected excited bride who's gonna have an incredible wedding day just kind of center yourself feel it in your heart center and visualize it do that often as we said before our brains can't tell the difference between you know fantasy and reality our imagination and reality at all so the more that we think about things and visualize them the more we say them and affirm them the more our brains are becoming rewired and be comfortable with the fact that it's done this before. So visualizing is super, super important. And writing them down, as I said, writing them down in your journal. If you haven't got one yet, get one. It is super, super important to, I believe, on this journey to journal about your journey. It is literally a place where you are capturing your life story. So grab a journal, write them in. Say how you're feeling when you're writing these affirmations. How do you feel when you speak them? At first, it might be a bit disorientating or you might feel a bit disconnected. Keep doing them. And lastly is consistency. The more that we repeat them, the more that we are consistent with them, the more the magic will happen. The more that these things will come into your own reality, the more that you'll be calm and centred, the more magic that happens in our life. So those are really five simple things that we can do with our affirmations to help us on our journey. Pro tip for you, if you are someone like me who forgets to do these things, there's some simple ways to remind yourself of these affirmations and to kind of be consistent with them. (laughs) Because let's be honest we're all human we'll do some things for a certain amount of time it'll become a habit and then we stop or we forget or something happens and then we just slide back into our old ways we're human okay put yourself some slack so the first thing you can do is you can write these on sticky notes and place them on your mirror in the bathroom or wherever you get ready in the morning just have kind of two or three dotted about that you can go look at them say them out loud or in your head and then you can look at them and say them consistently you're reminded of them constantly you can then do a wallpaper on your phone so you can go onto canva you can make a lovely kind of visual board if you want on there and add affirmations or set reminders on your phone to say certain affirmations really really simple as I said you can write them in your journal journaling is super important it helps with our mental health our clarity our peace of mind a lot of benefits for journaling you can add it to your morning routine so I've got a mug here this is my mug of um, affirmation my mug of motivation um and I sit there enjoy my cup of tea and I'll say a few affirmations out loud or internally just make it part of your your morning routine and the last kind of thing that you could probably do is say them in the shower whilst you're washing getting clean getting centered getting grounded having that moment to yourself say some affirmations in the shower so I have a few examples of affirmations that you can use on your wedding planning journey to feel better about the whole experience to build confidence and trust within yourself so I'm going to read them because I've written them down (laughs) 
let's be transparent. I can't remember this all off the top of my head. So the first one is I am confident and excited about my wedding day. I am a really powerful affirmation for self. It's validation for yourself. Okay. So using I am statements referring to you and your own experience. I trust in the process and I know everything will fall into place. Beautiful. I deserve to feel beautiful and loved. I'm surrounded by love and support. So if there's times in your planning journey that you feel like there's no one to go to or you're feeling lonely, I am surrounded by love and support. I am making choices that reflect my true self. So if you're making choices on your wedding day, are they from your true self or are you people pleasing? You want to make them from your true self. I am calm and at peace throughout the planning process. I am calm and at peace <laughs> throughout the planning process. Repeat it after me, <laughs> okay? They are really, really good for doing that because you, if someone said that to you and you repeat it, you can calm yourself down. I attract positivity and joy into my life. And I am capable of creating the wedding of my dreams because you are. And I have so many more affirmations. I have got a link for my Canva. I've got 32 affirmations on there. 16 for self, 16 for wedding. And there's also a sheet where you can write your own. And what I would love for you to do is go over, download it, add your own affirmations, and then do this right I'm going to show you now get yourself a jar pop your affirmations in there these are different ones that I've got and I've got kind of like um visualization prompts for myself download my um affirmations off Canva print them off and then cut them up open my daughter's been in this she was looking at them yesterday reading them cut them up and then make them into little well they're already in kind of little squares and then fold them up put them in there and if you want another way of saying your affirmations or another creative way of what affirmation do I need right now I have a little moochie pull one out and then say it now th these are good actually these are stuff my friend um Nicola one Christmas we had a secret Santa so this is my little jar of happy and these little colourful ones, <laughs> these little colourful ones are um, little friendship quotes. So there's like five of us. So there's myself, Nicola, Alex, Caitlin and Matt. And yeah, we, we were at uni together. Sidetrack. I know I'm getting sidetracked here. But I, <laughs> this little um this little kind of quote says, I love how badass we think we are together because we are just saying. I miss them so much. I've not seen them in a while. Um, so yeah, pop them in there. What affirmation do I need right now? Pull maybe one or two or three out. And then that could be your focus for the day or the week. It's just another little fun way of inviting affirmations into your life. I've also got um, underneath here, I've got a rose quartz underneath. So yeah, that is a really cool way of using affirmations, getting used to affirmations. And it's the consistency and the discipline to continue to use them. So they are very powerful. They'll help with your um, mental health. It will help with your clarity. It will help you just become more focused you can't be, as I've said before, you can't be in lack and you can't be in gratitude at the same time. They're two conflicting things. So if right now you are in a moment of stress and struggle, we're going to have to try and shift our mindsets. And we can do that really easily with affirmations. So, yeah, I have got a link for my Canva affirmations. It's dead, dead easy. You just accept it. There's like a link. You It will say um, Wedding Planning Collective Canva. You click it. It will take you to where my affirmations are. And you can literally just 
download it straight away or you can go in add your own affirmations and then download it and print it dead dead easy i would love to know which affirmations kind of you felt the best like which one was your favorite and share them over at instagram let's get involved in the conversation over there look out for this week's blog at the wedding planning collective.com forward slash blog um there'll be more information about affirmations over there and then next week we're on week 10 of our bridal self love journey don't forget to download your free checklist there is so many tips so many tricks there's also another um affirmation ex- exercise on there for you so yeah get involved let me know how you're going and let's get into this wedding season with fun and organization and creativity and self-love and self-care so for now i'm going to love you and leave you and i hope you have a happy week wedding planning Bye.